Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Best Investing Money Management channel on YouTube. In today's video, I wanted to start doing something different. I want to start doing a daily kind of review of the stock market and kind of what's going on. And we're going to be talking about some of the most talked about stocks today. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys get anything in value out of this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. So starting off with kind of one thing that I noticed today. Ticker symbol RAD, also known as Rite Aid, got absolutely obliterated. If we go to the 10 minute chart, you'll see just how massive this thing kind of sold off. If we look down here, the stock went from about six dollars all the way down to about five dollars, right? About six, oh, we could classify that as seven dollars because it's like 6.98. So, seven dollars all the way to as low as $4.86. So what happened? What caused this massive sell-off? Well, Rite Aid announced some earnings and their earnings were not the greatest. And anytime you have a miss in the earnings, what, what happens is um, people are gonna sell the stock. And if we actually go ahead and we look at this article here, you'll kind of see what's, what's going on. So you'll notice the stock price, boom, boom, boom pretty much missed in earnings. And on top of that, um, same store basis, front end retail stores uh, fell about 0.3%, so that's not that much. But the issue that we saw was Rite Aid reported a 3.5% second quarter decline in sales. So this right here was one of the reasons why we had a massive amount of sell-off from this. Anytime you have this much sell-off from a company, you're going to have people sell this stock. You're going to have investors say, screw it. I'm, I'm hopping out on this thing and answering that question of should you buy this stock? Does this answer your question? Look at this thing. This thing has gone from seven or 175 all the way down here to four dollars a share. Just a massive downward trend. I understand there could be some support here, you know, or whatever. I just think right now, at least for me, the risk and reward does not line up. I think the the risk is too high for that reward. So that's what happened there. If we go ahead and we look at another company here, um, ticker symbol, uh, let's see, KMX. This is CarMax. CarMax announced earnings today as well. And look what happened. The stock absolutely got obliterated. Again, you'll notice this one here is a little different because we do have that kind of sluggish upward trend, which is really good. And then lately, we've just seen this massive sell-off. But looking at this 10 minute chart, you'll notice just how crazy this thing sold off. Went from 85 bucks all the way to $65 without stopping. And during the market today, it continued to sell off. So anytime we see a move like this, right, very, very similar, similar to Rite Aid, people are gonna sell this stock. But this one here I think is a little different. I think this one here still could possibly carry um, some potential, but looking at this here, if we go ahead and pull this up, you'll notice that right now the revenue miss was about 4.7%, which is extremely high, especially for a company like this. You'll notice though the revenue year over year is up 20%, which is good, but virtually every other thing is down. So for me, answering that question, should you buy it? There could be a long, you know, some long-term potential for this one. I just don't like this massive amount of sell-off we've we've seen from it, but there could be a short-term like swing trade opportunity um, or even like a like a couple of months opportunity to see if we can get a push from 60, about 64 to like 71 to 74 bucks, back up to these pre-mark, pre-levels um, that we've seen in the past. Now, what happened today in the market? Well, this is on Finvez, and this will kind of just show you how much sell-off we've gotten from all of these stocks, right? Apple sold off today, Google, Amazon, Tesla almost sold off 7%. So there's just a lot of volatility with the market. I think though volatility always, at least for me, brings somewhat of some opportunity. Uh, so answering that question of should you continue to invest, I definitely think you should. 
everybody should continue to buy and and the strategy that i always say is just dollar cost average it right continue to invest on a weekly basis whether it's ten dollars a week or a hundred dollars a week you you want to just continue to dollar cost average the reason why is because we have that long-term upward trend with the s p 500 and looking back at previous history right because history tends to repeat itself all the times you know in these lows here boom boom you're buying at these lows so once the market recovers like it's always done you're making a lot more money because you bought at these peak bottoms and that's kind of what we've seen as of right now buying at these peak bottoms you know and so i'm going to continue to invest but that's just my opinion guys so that's kind of what's going on with it i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit that like button subscribe if you have any questions let me know down in the comments and we will see you guys later remember to stay happy guys stay positive stay safe take care everyone